guys, thanks for tuning in. I got some awesome news. I partnered up with Painting with Jane. If you YouTube her or go on her Instagram, uh, she's an amazing artist. So be sure to follow her, check her out. She gives tutorial videos and they're amazing, her style and everything. So be sure to check it out. But we decided to collaborate and create a piece together. So I'm gonna repaint one of my old paintings. What I'm gonna do on my part is I'm gonna change the sky and make a starry night sky and then ship it out to her and then she will add her part on this painting. So be sure to follow and check us out um, how we do this. So um, I hope the other YouTube videos that I did helped you guys out a lot. If uh, you guys could let me know down below in the comment what I can change or what could help me as an artist, um, I would be happy to read your comment. Thank you. And let's get started. So I'm gonna repaint this. So we're gonna do a landscape mode. So what I got here, I pre-mixed, um, I got the blue, per actually this is the purple color right here, and I used golden, uh, just titanium white, black, and red, and yellow, primary colors basically. Um, and so I got this dark purple color, and then I mixed them into lighter shades, into going into like this orangey color. So as you can see, I got uh, five different shades. Um, of color here. I pre-mixed them. Alright, so what we're going to do first is we're going to make our brush damp and remember this fluffy brush that I use. And we're going to start with the uh, lightest color going in to the darkest. So we're going to grab this um, orangey color here and we're going to just add it on the bottom here like, just like that. You know. Just like that. That's right. I decided to recreate it just because uh, this was my uh, like a sketch, like a practice canvas. But um, I do this a lot. I repaint a lot of my paintings. If they stick around, I just always see something that can change. Because every painting I do, I'm learning so much from from a painting, you know, that I always uh, find new techniques to add on to my older pieces. So then we're going to go with this pinkish color. And if you want to learn how to how I blend the colors and a little bit more about that part, um, check out my first couple videos, YouTube videos. I describe it a little more on there, how I mix these colors. It's just to save time. Um, I already pre-mixed them for you. Now we're going to go to this dark, you know, pink color. Or like this reddish pink. We're just gonna add layers there and here. And I'm kind of making like a like a circular, you know. I'm adding it uh, like a circular effect here. You could see. Um, okay, so I got this hot pink, right? Now I'm gonna go with this purple that I mixed and add it right there. And don't worry about blending it too much just now because right now we're just laying out the colors on the canvas. And then, um, and then we'll start focusing on blending more. All right, now I add this darkest color in my palette, this purple, dark purple. I love this color actually. Okay. Testing it out and uh, on my last YouTube tutorials and uh, I fell in love with this color. You can do so much with it. I kind of ran out. I need to add a little more. So, hope you guys are, you know, enjoying these videos and having fun. That's the goal, is to learn some new techniques and just have fun. It's all about having fun. Painting and having fun. You see, I'm kind of like taking it down a little bit. I'm like uh, taking the color, colors down. 
landing it and taking it down. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'll blend it in better. And then so what I do is then I just clean out my brush. You know, just, you don't want to, the way I clean it is I just kind of soak it in in one of the jars and uh, kind of press down a little bit, not too hard. And uh, then I squeeze out the brush um, and then dry it out with paper towels. And uh, it just needs to be a little damp, not too, not too wet, you know, so you could still get the fluff. Cool. So then I just had, you know, just a little bit of color, this light color onto um, my brush here. And then I go over it again from top, go from top to, from bottom I mean, going into the top. You see I blend these very well here. And I'm going this, I'm making this circular effect, right? Okay, so then, so then I go back. Now I have uh, the same, I, I, you can clean this out, you know, but just to save time, I just uh, got the same brush right here and it's dry. Um, and what I'm gonna do with the dry brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do the same thing with a dry brush and just like press a little harder on the canvas. I added a little bit of water there. And if it's too, if it gets too dry, you can add a little bit of water, just a touch on your brush, um, and then just blend them in again. Okay. Once you see that it's almost dry, you can go ahead and start adding um, this galaxy. So I added titanium white right here on my palette, and I'm gonna use this Artist Loft number 10 brush. Um, and I'm just gonna grab some on my brush here. And I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna do a, like a, almost like a sideways star, you know, uh, like a galaxy, okay? Actually, should I do it like this or like this? All right, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start from this side. On this side and I'm gonna just add you know how galaxy looks like right they're always different maybe maybe stop right there Maybe this goes and splits here. And I'm working dry with the brush. The brush is pretty dry. And as you get closer to the bottom, um, you want to add a little more white. Maybe some white right there. I'm gonna probably stop right there. Okay. 
make it bigger right here. squeeze the water out so it's still wet use the paper towel kind of so it's still damp you know wet and press press on it you know press right there and then maybe this area needs to be darkened so I just press I didn't add any color, just a damp mop brush. And I'm pressing a little bit on the canvas and trying to get the color to, you know, blend in nicely. So then I use this, it's a technique I made up myself kind of from practicing and experimenting, but and then I just add a little bit of like, you know, like this much of white in this little cup right, right there. And I add a little bit of water, like just a little bit, not too much, right? Just to, to make this titanium white and I use this brush, it doesn't matter what kind, but then I just mix it. Mix the white and water. Make it runny. Okay, if you have too much water, add a little bit more titanium. We're going to create stars right now. Okay, now we're going to use, remember this brush I told you about, this um, skinny flat brush that I told you about. You want a small one, you want to get like a, you know, here's my nail. It's pretty small, it's not that big. And depending on the size of the painting, but this painting is small, so you wanna use a small one. So then I, uh, and it's pretty, you know, stiff here. But uh, what I do is I dip a little bit, like halfway, right? I dip halfway, you don't wanna dip all the way. And then, it's usually easier when it's flat, but I don't, I don't go like this. I kinda of point it down, and I just start spraying this, these stars. You see how nice that turns out? Look at that. You know, I just start spraying everywhere, right? And grab some more if you need some more. And that's how I make my stars. And after this, like sometimes I go back and just with titanium white and a detailed brush, I just kind of add a few more brush, a uh, few more stars, like bigger stars. And for example, if you have like, um, like drips like this, that doesn't look like a star, you can just with the weight, wet, um, wet uh, paper towel, just kind of clean it out. Okay. And then once I spray it everywhere, you can kind of see it everywhere, right? Um, then when you have it everywhere, then you just go back to where you drew this galaxy and you come closer. You come closer and follow, follow where it goes, right? Follow these shapes. And just spray. And remember, if your if your brush starts to fill up too much here, just basically clean it out. 
um, because it's going to start giving you b bigger blobs and you don't want that. You could add as many as you want. Remember, we added some white here. Maybe there's one. Kind of. Coming out here like that. Who knows? Every time it's always different, remember? one of the easiest parts. You want to do less on, on these areas and more like right here. Once you're done with that, then you go back, you wait until it dries. Sometimes again, I use a hair blow dryer to you know dry it faster and then I go with titanium white and this detailed brush I just uh, add a few bigger stars you can do circular or you can um, like create this cool like you know star shape in a way if you want With titanium white, I go ahead and remember how we drew the, this galaxy. After I added the stars, I go back and add this titanium white. Not everywhere, but just on some areas. Make it brighter. We'll make this stand out a little more. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so now you don't have to do this, but I added a, a little bit of yellow and I'm just uh, using a damp brush, um, artist lock brush, and just a little bit tiny. And we're going to create a shade, um, just add on kind of on one area, one side, as you could see, just on one side. I'm working a little wet, but that's what you need to do, just on one side, All right? Maybe it goes in here as well. I'm just putting it on one side of the galaxy. And you'll see why I did that. It all makes sense. Okay, so I added that, right? You could see it kind of stand out a little bit. So I'm going to use the mop brush. I'm going to rinse it out. You know, it's still wet. Mop is still wet. And I'm grabbing a little more yellow, just a teeny bit. Just a teeny bit. Like that. And then I'm just going to blend it all in right there. Even go over here, you know, go on the bottom. You know, just blend it everywhere, just around the galaxy, the areas you just put that yellow on. What it does, it makes it, it makes it uh, pop out a little bit more. You know, galaxies that sometimes have an amazing glow and a lot of uh, color in them. If you pay close attention next time you see one you'll notice. Okay, we're gonna add uh, a shooting star, how about that, huh? And then we'll call it a good, and then we'll see what Painting with Jane, her name is Jane, she goes by Painting with Jane, 
on her YouTube channel and her Instagram. We'll see what she creates out of this piece. I'm not pressing hard at all. Okay, I got the shape, right? I got the shape. So now I'm going to go back with my detailed brush and add in the titanium white. Add in, make this area a little more thicker. Here you have a shooting star right there. Okay guys, this is the background. I hope you guys like it. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. And, um, and I'm excited to see what Jane will create and add on to this painting. So be sure to follow her, subscribe and see. Um, she will keep you guys posted. Alright guys, see you guys soon and God bless.